It's Monday and it's time to shine. So get your ass out of your bed, get the air kettle, stick it on, pour yourself a wee bit of coffee, fuel yourself up, get ready to go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's Matthew's Monday morning message. You, good morning. The earth is dying. Unfortunately. I like that, so where do I go from there? <laughs> Now, I don't know the, the exact statistics, but the scientists are constantly saying that uh, we're fucked, basically, which is not good. So here's my question. What are you doing about that? Huh? What are you doing to fix the current problems surrounding, I don't know, things like climate change? Pollution? Tell you the answer. Not as much as you should be. Yeah, no, I do have to be honest. I'll let you in on a little secret. Either am I. Which is not good enough, I know, but we do have to admit, all of us collectively, that we, we are not doing enough to tackle this issue, uh, which is dreadful, which is terrible. It's not a good thing at all. But here's some things that you could do uh, to make the world a little bit of a better place don't litter first of all if you're littering get in your time machine and go into the future and see what happens hopefully not not our actual future because hopefully we'll we will have solved the problem in the future go to an alternate dimension and see what happens um to the world when we don't do the things we need to do to fix it if you're littering fuck you or tip, don't be throwing things in the tip that could be put in your recycling bin. We've got recycling bins for a reason. The government literally give it to you for free. Unless you're from a country where they don't give it to you for free, which I'm sorry, but I'm sure it's worth every penny to save the planet. Try to lower your carbon emissions. You can do this in many ways. Travel by bus instead of by car. I'm guilty of traveling by car, unfortunately. Get on the bus, get on the train. If you can get somewhere on a train within a single day, like in like 10 hours, 12 hours even, if you're going somewhere where you can get there on a train in eight hours, definitely get the train instead of the plane. Don't be a dick. Cut carbon emissions by the food that you eat. Try to make sure that it's locally sourced. If you're getting your strawberries from Spain, try and get your strawberries from a local strawberry man. I don't know how good those strawberries might be because you might not live in a country where the climate is good enough to grow good strawberries and you may not have many strawberry men, but find a strawberry man. They're out there. Maybe, probably not. Also, stop eating so much meat. Consider becoming a vegetarian. Even better, consider becoming vegan so that all the Brazilian men don't have to keep cutting down the Amazon rainforest and putting cows there instead that fart so much that it destroys the atmosphere. Or so I've been told. And if you're sitting thinking to yourself, ah, I don't need to do this. This doesn't apply to me. Recycling pff, the earth. Pff, I'll let somebody else clean up my mess. Stop being so lazy, would you? You're just being lazy. That's all it is. Instead of throwing your beer can into the bin, put it in the recycling bin. If your reason for doing anything is laziness because you couldn't be bothered because you think somebody else might do it, wise up. <laughs> the planet that we live on is precious. We only get one of them. Unless Elon Musk successfully gets us to Mars by 2024. Come on, Elon. Hurry up. And as riveting as the things that Elon Musk says are, uh, I'd rather stay here, to be honest, on the planet that I, I know and I love and I've lived on my entire life. You can't make me go to Mars. I don't know how much money you would need to invest all at once and distribute everywhere that was needed to get the wheels running instantly, to constantly work on this, to fix it as soon as possible. 
Um, but I bet Jeff Bezos could do it. And he's unemployed. Elon Musk could help him. And while they're at it, they could, I don't know, stop world hunger. Come on, guys. Help your fellow humans out. Save the damn planet. And don't be a dick. Thank you. Elon Musk hit Matthew Deneen up on YouTube, share my video, that would be nice, wouldn't it? It'd make me rich, Elon. Not that I need the money, but if I had the money, I would use it to save the earth. And some other things that I care about. Mm-hmm. <laughs>